Welcome to radar system course. We can we will see the phase array antenna. So before understanding what do you buy the phase array antenna, we will learn first what do you buy the array antenna. So array antenna is nothing but what a group of elements or a same antenna elements we are used. To transmit or receive the signal, so that a group of element or a group of antenna is to be called as the array antenna. So instead of a single one, so we use a multiple antenna there. So multiple antenna means what? For example, if we have a dipole, so we suppose to consider the dipole antenna here. Likewise, so this one is about a single element. So if we use a multiple dipole to be connected together. Okay, so in that case, these these are to be inner guys. Okay, so means we supposed to provide connect this particular antenna there. We supposed to provide to this antenna the amplitude as well as a phase. Okay, so in that case, this antenna is called an array because here a multiple element we are using. So instead of a single element, we will use a multiple element. So that antenna is called as a array antenna. Okay, so that array it can be designed or it can be put in a different phase also. That array can be put in the linear way because that axis of an antenna, if you consider all these antennas to be placed on a single axis, they are placed in a linearly one. So that antenna is called as a linear antenna. And then Another antenna, if supposed to be, we consider the same element antenna. Okay, condition is that array antenna condition is that the whichever the elements we are using. Okay, their their property, their size, their shape, everything is to be a similar one. Then and then, that particular properties of an antenna or the type of an antenna is called as a array antenna. Combination of these two antenna cannot be used. Suppose I am saying that dipole antenna and horn antenna to be used. No, that's combination. Only the identical element. Okay, array is nothing but what the antenna is to be considered or element is to be considered. Both are a identical. That identical element is to be used, and that identical element to be designed in such a way that it will form an array there. Now here. All the antennas are placed on a single axis, or we are using a single axis there. That's why this type of a structure is called as a linear antenna. Now another array antenna. This is called as a linear array antenna. Another array antenna is called as a planar array antenna. So in which so all the elements are placed in a single plane. For example, I suppose to say that this one is a plane now. Okay. So now in this plane. So antennas are placed. So these are nothing but a dipole element. For example, we consider these are nothing but a dipole element. So in a plane, so elements are placed. Okay. So likewise, so we have all the antennas are placed in a single plane. So generally, a planar antenna. Okay, it's not a dipole one. So most of the time, people are using a microstrip patch antenna, and that antenna is to be used in a Single plane. Okay, so likewise. Now this is nothing but a microstrip patch antenna. Okay, of a square shape now. Okay, so now all the square shape are present in a single plane. So this is this type of an antenna is called as a planar array antenna. Okay, array. Okay, array is nothing but a matrix form. Okay, so or we can say that a number of elements there. Okay, so likewise we consider that this type of a structure is called as a A planar array antenna. In a one plane, all the elements are present. Now then, why this particular antenna, phase array antenna, are used in a radar? Okay, so to understand that, we need to understand first what is the structure of an array antenna, and then how it will provide a radiation. Because in general, when we consider A parabolic dish antenna, as a transmitting antenna or a receiving antenna. So in that case, we use a simple 
radiating element or we can consider that a primary element that is nothing but a horn okay so now this one is about a destructure so we suppose to consider that this one is about a transmitting antenna as a parabolic one either it will transmit the signal or we can receive the signal from the board there okay so now for this particular structure for this parabolic structure so we consider that the antenna transmitting the signal in one direction if we draw a radiation pattern of this antenna so radiation pattern is what it is directing in a given direction so we will gauge the radiation pattern of an antenna is likewise for a given parabolic antenna now most of the time we consider that a horn antenna as a primary sometimes we can use a dipole as a primary antenna and then a parabolic dish we have instead of a horn we can use a dipole even if we use a dipole or a horn so we are getting the radiation pattern in a one direction okay so we towards it if we are using a parabolic antenna now in an application when we consider a radar there so in that case what happened radar transmit the signal toward the target and then target reflect that particular signal echo received by the antenna then according to the value of the echo whichever we are receiving from the target so we can locate the target position or we can find out the range of the a target there okay now in that case if supposed to be target is moving okay for example we can consider that a target is moving so this one we consider that our target is moving so in that case what happens so if the target is moving in this particular direction we need to rotate the antenna toward the target now okay so in that case we use a motor okay so motors motor variable motors various motors we use stepper motors various motors we use and we need to rotate the antenna in a given direction okay so parabolic antenna is to be rotated here so we use here a motors and all now that particular rotation of that antenna toward the target or toward the given particular direction that is called as a steering antenna so we are controlling the antenna or we are steering the antenna through the motor so that controlling action is takes place based on that whichever the echo signal we are receiving and from the echo signal we will find out what will be the direction of the target so in which direction that target is moving so according to that your antenna is to be rotated so now here the parabolic antenna it will rotate in the given particular direction okay now this one is a single element now in the case of an array antenna so what happens we use a array antenna okay we use a array antenna so instead of electronically steering using a motor or a stepper motor or a manually okay instead of automatically instead of manually steering the antenna so that and controlling the antenna can be taken place based on the what will be the phase we are applying so if we change the phase okay of a signal instead of a amplitude okay so then what happen that direction of that radiation pattern will change now here the single antenna parabolic antenna it is the direction is fixed so in which direction we just put that antenna according to that we will get the radiation pattern if the target is moving in this direction so we can rotate the antenna toward the whatever in the moving direction of the target and then we can locate the position of the target there. but in another case instead of rotating this antenna we are steering the position or a direction of that antenna through varying the phase so how that phase variation is takes place if we use a array antenna instead of a single antenna okay so array antenna means what we have the antennas to be placed or at the dipole element we consider that okay here we can consider that this one is the bottom a dipole element now all these elements okay these are nothing but identical element their size and shape everything will be same these are all are identical in a nature now now if we consider this antenna 
okay this is we consider so if we consider that so all these are connected here okay just like we supposed to be connected okay so if i draw likewise so it is to be connected here. so we are energizing we need to energize each and every dipole element with a amplitude and a phase so for this particular array element 1 this one is a 3 2 3 4 okay there are the n number of a array element which will be present okay n number of element in an array okay this is about the array antenna so it has a n number of element now so phase array antenna is nothing but what that antenna is a directive antenna okay that phase array antenna is a directive antenna it consists of what a various or individual radiating element okay and that will generate a radiation pattern in a given direction so similarly parabolic antenna it generate a radiation pattern in a single given direction but here a array element these are the multiple arrays okay n number of array uh, antenna elements we are using in an array they are controlled by phase and amplitude of the current okay phase and amplitude of the current applied to the individual element these are the individual elements 1 2 3 4 n so whatever the phase and amplitude we are applying to the each individual element so according to that we'll get the a radiation pattern now how we are getting we need to vary the phase of each and every element for example i say that the phase here supposed to be what phase phase is nothing but what that is about the we towards the given particular direction okay so for example i am saying that i want okay we want here supposed to be radiation pattern in this given direction if we want a radiation pattern in the given direction so now how we are getting the radiation pattern of an antenna in this direction or i supposed to consider that radiation pattern in this direction or radiation pattern now this radiation pattern with a different shape okay different direction okay so that can be achieved through the applying the amplitude and a phase okay applying a different amplitude and different phase so there are the types of array element okay there are the types of array antenna so mostly we consider that the two types of array antenna one is based on that how we are getting the radiation pattern so if a radiation pattern we are getting perpendicular to the axis of that element now these are the antenna here if the radiation pattern we are getting that will be perpendicular to the axis now this one okay we are getting the radiation pattern that will be perpendicular to the axis of the broader side of an antenna here so in that case that particular antenna is called as a broad side antenna okay broad side array antenna okay if we are getting the radiation pattern along with the axis of an antenna in a given in a one particular direction okay toward the axis here what what we can say that this antenna is called as a end pair antenna so generally the array antenna we say that it consists of what a number of individual radiating elements okay individual element means this antenna is radiating this one is again radiating this one is again radiating so all the elements are radiating and these elements they are spaced to with a particular distance okay spacing distance so every element they have some particular spacing distance so for example i say that for each and every element that antenna spacing is supposed to be a d here now the spacing between the element will be d so we can change the spacing also so what will be the spacing we supposed to be consider what will be the height okay that is about the length of this particular dipole element okay so our number of elements whatever the number of elements n number of elements we are supposed to be use in the a antenna so then we need to apply to the each and every element a signal okay and the signal when we are applying a signal to this particular element that signal has some particular amplitude as well as the phase 
and then based on that amplitude and fh so we are getting the radiation pattern of this each and every individual element okay that will be combined one so that's why we are getting the radiation pattern either a broad side here or the end side based on this broad side it is called as a broad side array antenna towards this side it is called as a a end fire antenna so towards given particular end we are getting the radiation pattern in a given particular end so now how we are applying a amplitude and a phase based on that the radiation pattern will be changed so according to the changes in the radiation pattern we can say that this antenna is electronically steering based on the phase we are changing the phase direction of this antenna is changes here direction means what whether we are receiving the antenna okay uh, this antenna this array antenna whether we are using as a receiver or a transmitter here if suppose to we are using as a receiver no need to rotate the antenna antenna is to be fixed only we need to vary the phase so earlier case what we have seen so we have seen that okay so we have seen that whichever the parabolic antenna we are using okay so whichever the parabolic dish antenna we are using so in that case whatever the antenna is there okay this one we are rotating this one so okay so, so in that case radiation pattern will be given right if we are rotating the antenna okay so this one so towards this side so radiation pattern will be changed means here we are atom either we are rotating automatically through the motor or or manually okay so we can rotate the antenna through the manually here so manually it is difficult okay we can because the target uh, speed is very very high so that's why manually rotating the antenna is very difficult so that's why it is to be electronically one through the motor so we can rotate the antenna through the motor in a given direction but in the case of this array antenna so instead of rotating the antenna we just varying the phase of an antenna okay varying the phase of an antenna so that's why it is called as a phase array antenna so means this antenna is electronically steered phase array antenna this antenna is called as a electronically steered a phase array antenna means we can consider that every element here all these elements are radiating means this element 1 element 2 element 3 element 4 every elements are uh, every elements are radiating but when we are providing the amplitude and the phase to each and every element so radiation pattern of each and every element will be combined in a particular direction suppose i say that a radiation pattern is combined in a given in this particular direction so that this one is about the axis of an antenna and the radiation pattern is here so in that case the radiation pattern is toward the broader side of an antenna so that's why it is called as a, a broad side array antenna okay and this one we can say that radiation pattern toward the end of this antenna so that is called as the end fire antenna okay so that is about a two types of antenna we can say that a broad side all the antenna elements are linearly placed here okay that's why broad side linear antenna or end fire linear antenna okay so you, we should know that what will be the radiation pattern in which particular direction so generally for a broad side linear antenna so the radiation pattern is toward the broad side of this plane here okay this one is about a broader plane and what will be the beam width beam width if how many number of elements we are using based on that the beam width will be very very narrow so mostly we can consider that the array antenna that will provide a narrow beam okay so that's why a broad side or a broad side linear array antenna or a end fire linear array antenna they have a narrow beam width here. okay so we consider either broad side or a linear array antenna. so in the case of a linear array here all the elements okay if consider that all the elements are arranged in a straight line okay so all these are just like we consider that these are the elements are arranged in a straight line here in a one dimension 
But in the case of a planar array antenna, okay, planar array antenna, so instead of a one dimension, the antennas are placed in a two dimension. Okay, planar array antenna is nothing but what? A two dimensional configuration of the element. And they are arranged in a given particular plane. So how they are arranged? Just we have seen, we, we have seen earlier, we consider that an antenna here, microstrip antenna, this is nothing but a rectangular shape or a square shape. Okay. So all these antenna are present in a, a two dimension. So instead of in a single line, okay, we can consider in a one dimension there. You can consider that a two dimension here. So these are the elements. That is called as a this type of structure is called as a we can consider that a planar array antenna. Okay, planar array, it is nothing but a planar array antenna is called as a two dimensional antenna, or we can say that a two dimensional configuration of each and every element. So we can say that here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Means it has a total nine elements. So these are about the nine elements. All these are radiating. Okay. But we are getting the combined radiation pattern of all the elements. Okay. So in which direction? So that is about either perpendicular to the plane or which has radiation pattern, has a theta angle. Okay. So how that radiation pattern, whether it will be perpendicular or angle theta, that will be depending upon that how we are energizing this element. Okay, how we are energizing this element. So, we had variation in the amplitude or variation in the phase. So, mostly amplitude is a constant in a phase array antenna. In a phase array antenna, amplitude is a constant only. We need to vary the phase for, okay, whatever the signal we are providing to the element here. Amplitude is constant, only the variation in the phase. Okay, and then spacing of this particular element that will provide you in which direction we are getting the maximum radiation. Maximum radiation, we are getting the spacing. Okay, beam width, everything we are getting the spacing. We are getting the how we are energizing these antenna through the phase or through the amplitude. Okay, so that's why we can consider that the antenna either it will be a linearly spaced or we can say that it is to be in a a planar configuration. So, planar array, okay. So, mostly we can consider that a planar array. It is nothing but a broadside one. But in the case of a linear array, it can be either a broadside one or it can be either in the, uh, the radiation direction. It is through the axis of this particular antenna. Or you can say that this one is about the axis. We can say that radiation pattern perpendicular to the axis here or it will be a parallel to that. So for a perpendicular radiation, we can consider that this antenna is called the broadside array antenna. If the radiation pattern is a parallel to the axis, we can say that is about an entire antenna. So what 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 will be the structures we require? Okay, so according to that, either a broadside array or a in fire arrays are used here. If we consider that array here, so we can consider a two types here. One we can say that broadside linear array, and another if we consider that a in fire. Okay, so we can consider that a in fire array. Okay end fire linear array because all these are all components are in a linear or generally we can say that directly is linear everything is linear one we can say that a broadside array or a end fire array okay so now why linear we consider linear means linear array it is to be used okay all the structures are linear you place there so that's why we can consider that the part is a linear array Okay, so means elements that are arranged in a straight line. Okay, so that's why it is called a linear line. So all these are antenna, broadside antenna and end fire antenna. Okay, broadside array antenna, end fire array antenna. Okay, both are a 
linear antenna. Okay, both have come under the category of a linear antenna. But there are some drawbacks. Okay, so when we consider the antenna here, so we we are expecting that gain. Okay, we are expecting that a two component, one is about a gain, and one is about a beam width. Okay, so what whether that beam width will be a narrow or broad? Okay, or what will be the a gain here? So now, based on that, that antenna can be differentiated. Okay, based on the gain and the beam width. So now, if you consider that a broadside array antenna, because in a broadside, all antennas are placed, all the antenna elements are placed linearly. Okay, all antennas are placed linearly. So that's why we are getting the radiation pattern. Okay, either broadside or inferior. So we'll get the radiation pattern here. Okay, that will be to the perpendicular to the axis of an antenna element, or parallel to the axis of this antenna here. Okay, are relevant. So now, in the case of a, a radiation pattern here, so mostly what we can consider that a broadside antenna, okay, can be used with a various types of a shapes. Here. So earlier, what we have seen that a the antenna okay so we can we can consider that a parabolic antenna we use a single element okay by that we can use this one okay or we can use a dipole here okay we can use a dipole here this one is we can use as a dipole as a radiating element or a transmitting here this one is a guy a horn antenna or we can use the dipole but if we consider that a broadside array okay if we consider the broadside array so instead of a horn single horn if we use a multiple element okay instead of a single element here if we are using a multiple element so we are getting the narrow beam width and the gain of the antenna is going to be gain so we need to use or we need to arrange a component or arrange an antenna element in such a way that we are getting the highest gain as well as the a narrow beam so if you consider the a broadside array so we achieve the high gain okay we achieve the high gain if and we are again achieve the a narrow beam but if you consider that in fire array as compared to the broadside array, so we could not achieve the higher gain as well as the narrow beam. because a radiation pattern if combined with the multiple element okay because the radiation pattern is combined with a multiple element but when we are combining the radiation pattern with a multiple element so in that case so there may be the okay addition as well as the subtraction of what we can say that whatever the signal is radiating it end fire array means what your radiation pattern will be a parallel okay in this particular direction this one is about it a radiation pattern this one is about it a radiation pattern of an end fire array okay now in this particular case when we consider this a linear end fire array antenna so we are getting the radiation pattern either in the given direction or in this direction or in the both the direction Okay, not necessary. Only the single direction that radiation pattern we are getting. In end fire, in both the direction we are getting the radiation pattern, or in a single direction. So we need to arrange the elements in such a way that we should get the radiation pattern only in one direction, or in both both the direction. But in the case of a broadside array antenna, again we need to arrange the element in such a way that we are getting the radiation pattern only in one direction. So simple example of a end fire array antenna is nothing but a yagyuda antenna. So in a yagyuda antenna, that elements are spaced with a small distance there. Okay, distance between the different that spacing will be different. That length of that array again varying there, and then we are getting the radiation pattern only in one direction. Okay, that is called as a yagyuda antenna. But here in the case of a 
a, a antenna used in a radar they have some limitations limitations regarding the gain and wave so as compared to the limitations at, as per the radar antenna so broadside array antennas are used so instead of a, a end fire antenna okay because radiation pattern it is combining okay but when we say that it combining the radiation pattern and achieving this radiation pattern in given direction so that gain as well as the beam width will be not ex whatever the expecting at in com at compare with the broad front okay that value we are not getting that's why mostly in the case whenever we are using a broad side ra we are getting the highest gain as well as the beam width in the case of a radar that broad side ra antenna is used okay in a parabolic antenna instead of a this one is a bottle large dish now so we supposed to consider that for this large dish antenna okay so we use instead of a single element there so we use a the antenna looks like so our structure will be what instead of a single antenna one two three and what happened here so this particular antenna radiate the signal in this given direction okay so likewise and then we are getting radiation pattern in this given particular direction okay likewise so we can consider instead of a single element we can use a multiple element that is about a broad side array antenna here with a parabolic antenna structure there or we can say that a parabolic cylinder okay so we can consider a parabolic dish or a parabolic cylinder that is to be used with this broad side array antenna there so that we are getting this radiation pattern okay or that uh, beam will be in arrow in the case of a end fire antenna what happens we are not getting a high gain in the case of broad side array antenna we are getting the high gain in the case of a end fire antenna that antenna that gain will be a low or a medium gain we are getting okay so but but what about the beam width beam width again in arrow but as compared to the broad side array so that beam width will be a maximum okay it's not in arrow okay so if we compare with the end fire and a, a broad fire array but sometimes we consider that a shape okay we can consider that the application at a receiving side or a transmitting side so according to that we can consider either a broad side array antenna or a end fire antenna. so mostly we supposed to find out a target so in that particular case we can consider that a broadside array or we can consider that a end fire array there okay then our aim is about to understand that so what will be the value of a gain for this particular broadside antenna there so what will be the radiation pattern so radiation pattern can be controlled electronically there okay so for multiple elements how we are energizing this particular antenna so based on that for each and every antenna element so now this one is about the antenna now. okay this one is about your the antenna we supposed to consider okay these are nothing but a dipole element okay these are a dipole element now all these dipole element we consider here okay now this one is about the antenna now. so now in that case what happen 1 2 3 4 5 6 now these are about the a six elements we are using now for this six element what will be the radiation pattern we consider that is about a broad side here. okay broad side now if we provide different phase value to the each and every element then the radiation pattern will be controlled okay radiation pattern means what just supposed to be earlier what we have seen that we need to consider a antenna to be rotating toward the target okay direction of that radiation pattern or direction of that antenna 
is to be toward the target. If we are using a parabolic dish antenna, we need can rotate that parabolic dish antenna through the motor and we can direct that radiation pattern of an antenna toward the target. But if we are using a broadside array antenna, so in that case, we can control the direction of a, radi uh, of a signal in a given direction or we can say that radiation pattern in a given direction by applying the same amplitude and a variation in the phase to the each and every element. So how we are applying means why we can energize each and every element with the same amplitude but a difference in the phase here. For example, I consider that this particular element 1, we are applying the amplitude of a signal. We suppose to consider that here we are consider that a signal will be what a sign of omega t here for this element 1. But for this element 2, we can consider that same amplitude a sine omega t plus whatever the phase here. For the element 3, twice of twice of likewise. So we can energize each and every element with a variation in the phase. By changing the phase, we can control, okay, we can control the direction. So that is called as a electronically scanning array antenna or electronically steering antenna or you can say that electronically steering a phase array antenna electronically steering a phase array antenna okay so we can con control here okay so array we can control the whatever the phase in between this element this relative phase shift between the ele element it will be controlled by the electronic devices that's why we can say that a electronically controlled okay so electronically controlled or electronically steering phase array antenna okay electronically steered phase array antenna and that electronically steered phase array antenna is used in a, a radar so if we consider n number of elements present there so all these n number of elements they have the same voltages we are applying. Okay. So, means for example, I consider that a multiple, we have the n number of elements there. Okay. So, means we can consider that a n element here and that n element and their spacing will be a d now. For example, I suppose to be considered that we have the n element and that n element they have the spacing will be a d now and for example i suppose to consider that here a antenna now okay we suppose to consider that we draw a gate here these are nothing but a n element i suppose to consider now and this these are the n element now and for each and every element we consider that the spacing will be a t this one okay even uh, if the diagram is supposed to consider that it has a spacing between the each and every element will be a same here and when we energizing this element here okay what whatever the signal we supposed to getting if we are using this antenna as a receiving or a transmit so for example i suppose to consider that this one is about the direction of the signal either transmitting or a receiving okay toward this direction or the direction so now this for toward this it makes an angle theta here okay this particular will make an angle theta either horizontally horizontally or we can consider that a, a vertical in both the case okay so we can consider that a antenna that is it radiating signal in a space or we are getting the signal that is about the incoming signal or a, a radiating for example we consider that a incoming signal and then when we consider that incoming signal so total voltage okay 
we are applying to this particular element is nothing but what is sum of the voltage applied to the each and every element so generally we consider that the amplitude applying to each and every element will be the same okay but only the changes in the phase so that's why we consider by energizing we consider that we applying a source to every element with the same amplitude but difference in the phases okay we are giving the excitation to the every element we are giving the excitation to the all the element with same amplitude but difference in the phase so that we are getting the radiation pattern towards the given direction so for example i am saying that the radiation pattern in this given direction because we consider that this antenna is to be used as a receiver now. so in that case we find out here whatever the total voltage applying okay to the each and every element the total voltage or a summation of voltage of all the elements that will be considered as a ea here is equal to sin of omega t amplitude is 1 now okay plus that is for the element 1 then for the element 2 sin of omega t sin here for the second element then sin of omega t plus by star here because it is for second element okay. 1 2 3 4 5 six. if supposed to be there will be the nth element okay if there will be the nth element so in that case we can consider that for the nth element sin of omega t plus n minus 1 sin n minus 1 this was n minus 1 element okay we can through that n for one it is there is no phase shift here so we are getting the total amplitude or a total voltage of all the elements is what sin of omega t sin of omega t plus phi phi is nothing but what because for the second element phase we are applying that is plus phi for the another element we are applying twice phi okay that is about a different phase and then for this particular different phase so we are getting this what will be the total amplitude we are applying and from that we can find out that what will be the intensity pattern okay in which direction your radiation pattern of this antenna is to obtain the intensity pattern of an antenna we consider that summation of all the elements can be written in a different manner also we can write a sin of omega t plus n minus 1 psi of t into sin of psi by to divide by sin of psi by at this particular factor sin of n psi by 2 okay or sin of psi by 2 that will provide you what will be the signal direction maximum direction or a maximum field intensity in which direction this factor will tell you what will be the maximum intensity of the given particular array element there with this uh, we stop here uh, we'll see next lecture we'll continue the same thing again in the next lecture so we'll stop here thank you